the secret now is to rest the meat. The, 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 the worst thing you can do now is just slice it and eat it straight away. Uh, yeah, so we're here at the River Restaurant at uh, the Lowry Hotel and we've got Mr. Andrew Green here. Nice to meet you, Andrew. Hi, nice to meet you. How's it going? Very good. Good stuff. And uh, we're looking at the signature dish. And what is it? So today we're going to do the um, crushed pistachio lamb. It's the lamb cannon. Serve it with some cavallo nero, some sweet corn, some polenta um, and some lamb jus. So this is our cannon lamb. So this is basically the loin of the lamb. It's one of the best cuts of the lamb. Um, this is high peak. Uh, it comes from our local butchery in Glossop called uh, Metrics. It's um, sourced from the local area, so around uh, Chisworth and Charlesworth around the Glossop area. Very nice. We've also got some uh, Cavallo Nero, the black cabbage. We've got some Palenza, which we make into a small ball, yep. which we'll fry. Some normal corn. What are these here? And these are potato crisps. So basically we make a potato paste, we, we spread it and we dehydrate it and it gives like a lovely little crunch to the dish as well. Oof, nice. And then this is the crushed pistachio, the, the, the main part of the dish really, apart from the lamb. Goes very well with the lamb, flavours combined together. Once roasted and the juices come out and they kind of like uh, mix together, it's a fantastic flavour. Yeah, I've never, had, I've never had that before. It sounds, I mean, I'm a big fan of pistachios. Right. Well, pistachios and lamb, it's, you know, especially the local lamb as well, and you get the, that intense flavour, great flavour together. And at this point now, it's ready for the frying pan. So we've added our oil to the pan, and we've had some time there just to infuse the flavour of the oil. Sure. I'm going to sear the, the lamb um, all the way around, get a nice even, even sear on there, but not too hot, not too cold, just, just, just enough to get it nice and golden brown. What you don't yeah. want is it to be uh, dark on the outside. Uh, you get a really bitter flavour to the to the lamb, especially coming from the, the kind of burnt nut. Yeah. There, so nice and easy, take it around nice and slowly. And once we've got all areas, we'll put it in the oven and cook it right through. So that's it coming out of the oven now, and it should be nice and um, nice and medium, nice and pink. The secret now is to rest the meat. The, 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 the worst thing you can do now is just slice it and eat it straight away. You need to let it rest, so any kind of um, juices inside will, will come out naturally. All right. Okay, so we'll put it onto our resting rack. Okay, so this is the planter ball, the cornmeal, which just got thrown into the deep fryer now, just to crisp it up on the outside. This just gives a different uh, texture to the dish. You know, a lot of times you see potato or, yeah. or things that, like that, it's just a little bit different. So when, you, when, you cut into, when it's cut, so when you cut into that, what kind of, what, what's it going to be like inside? This one? Yeah, I'll it should be nice and that. soft, yeah, it Ooh. should be like, I mean, to be fair, Polenta is very similar to like, like mashed potato really, like yeah. a dry mashed potato. So what, when you're cooking lamb, rule of thumb is for however long you cook your yeah. lamb, you rest it for the same amount of time. Okay, because... It, really? All right. Yeah, so any, any piece of meat, for example, you know, lamb, steak, whatever, it's, it's a muscle. So when you cook a muscle, the first thing the muscle does is contract. It holds it very, very tight like this. And then when you take it out of the oven, slowly, slowly over time, it starts to relax. As it relaxes, then any juices inside, so the blood and the juices, will then start to come out. Right. So if you used to slice it straight away as it's contracted and thrown onto the plate, as it gets to the customer, it starts to relax. And all that blood, that's when you see blood on the plate. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, the worst yeah. thing that you want to do. So you obviously let it rest the proper way, slice it, present it, and it can go. And then however you see it is how the customer should see it as well. And throughout the whole meal, it should just be on the plate what you've, you've designed to put on that plate, not the juices and bits and bobs that have, you know, have come out of there. Okay, next stage is the um, Cavallo Nero. Just gonna give it a quick blanch into some water. Put some butter in the pan. 